How's it going guys? This is Luke Geodes. Welcome to a brand new video. Today in this video, I just want to talk to you guys about some things that's been going on between me and uh, Gridnet Gaming. What's been happening was there's been a little bit of beef between me and him. I made a little sub stream. I said uh, one thing that I'm going to say here today uh, was said in that video. If you want to, go check it out. It's actually really bad because it's on my phone. My phone isn't the best, especially with, you know, YouTube streaming. So, I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple things that's been going on. So, the first thing is that Grinnet Gaming has been saying some mean things to me uh, about me and my YouTube channel. I mean, he's been roasting about my social life, apparently. And, actually, today... He uh, made a list of uh, things that is bad about me. So just because of that one video that just said one thing. So that video exclaimed a fake giveaway that he did, which was the $15 EB Gims gift card. But what happened was Max Cryonin won the giveaway. And Shrik was supposed to give him the card. He actually was very reluctant to give it to him, to give it to Max, because he wanted the card for himself. Fifteen dollars of EB Games stuff. Fifteen dollars. He was like, are you sure you want it? Are you sure you want it? I can't get Max on right now to talk to me about it. If you want, like I said, go check out that substream I made. He even talks about it with me. And uh, he, uh, he confirms that it was a fake giveaway. Shrek did not give the fifteen dollars to him, uh, even though he did win the giveaway. So, that's that's just showing that if he's able if he like has the audacity to make a fake giveaway maybe his other giveaways are fake too what what are you applying for nothing i mean there's no point if you if you're going to apply for it you know do hashtag giveaway and not get anything the next uh the next reason why there's a lot of beef is he's a hypocrite He's a hypocrite because he went up to me the other day, but I'd say a week ago and way before that, like maybe a couple months before that, and he was saying that I only have my my amount of subscribers because of giveaways. All right, so he was saying that so many times, like he he was just jealous. I mean, it's it's not good to have jealousy. Now look, I'm not jealous at all. I mean, I have twice as many subscribers than him. I'm not trying to flex here. I'm just trying to show that as a small YouTuber, you don't want a lot of beef. So don't start it, all right? Uh but he was saying that uh I only do giveaways because I'm, you know, wanting subscribers and I only have as many subscribers because of the giveaways. Well, if you look at his channel, he did also three giveaways same as me. I think I did three or four, maybe four. Giveaways are meant for giving away something, not asking for subscribers, not begging. Uh, he also said that uh, if you go onto my channel, the first thing you see is my giveaway. Well, that's only if you're subscribed already and you haven't seen the giveaway. If you go onto my channel right away as a non-subscriber, you see my knife collection video where I show you my knife collection. My latest knife collection video, that is. And uh, he was also a hypocrite for that because I went onto his, okay, like his uh, YouTube, as a non-subscriber and a subscriber. And at first, as a non-subscriber, and also a subscriber, obviously, his first video showing up was the twenty-five dollar Google Google Play gift card. This didn't exactly make me mad, but it made me almost, you know, a bit upset that he can just say bad things about me. Yet, when I come back, he just lashes out. It's it's just not a good trait as a YouTuber. You need to keep your cool. You need to be as cool as you can. And make good content. And just everything everything like that. I mean, if you want to know how to get bigger, go search it up on another website. I'm not going to tell you how to get bigger right now. And no, Shrek, I'm not saying you have bad content. Even though, about a week ago, you were saying my content was trash. Quote trash end quote you were saying it was bad and that your content is much better because you have thumbnails and you put in funny stuff well 
it's people's opinions. I'm not going to freak out over opinion. Yet when I said that your content didn't appeal to me, that's all I said. You flipped out and you got very mad at me. So you kept making fun of my channel. I believe you were only making fun of it because of me having twice as many subscribers than you. I think your jealousy is getting ahead of you and you you're just it's just getting in the way, all right? You really need to like snap out of it and stop contending with me. You really need to stop saying saying that stuff about me. It is pretty rude and uh I I kind of take it to heart because I listen to my fans and my and criticizers. I listen to people. If they say something is bad, I most of the time stop. If you say my channel is bad, if you're that one hater that's like, you know, going around on little channels and saying, "Oh, you're totally bad." I don't I don't listen to that obviously. It's just spontaneous hate. But when an old friend, an old good friend and good YouTube friend, not anymore really, but good YouTube friend goes up to me and says, "Your content is trash." And my content is good because of thumbnails and funny content. It made me a bit upset to see that you saw my content as trash. I didn't see your content as trash. I saw your content as not as much appealing to me. Now don't worry. Again, I'm not calling your content bad at all. I'm calling your content something that I don't find much interest in as myself. You didn't even throw your opinion in. You just said your content is trash in general. I mean, he didn't say in general, but he said your content is trash. He wasn't saying, "Oh, my opinion, your con your content isn't good. I don't like it." That's fine. Okay, you don't like my content, whatever. But if you say your content is trash, that's just really offending a channel and it's it's hard to take hate as a little channel and you know that. If you don't know it, then you really aren't a YouTube channel because every single channel gets hate. Nolan sometimes, he receives hate from even his friends. I'm not going to go deeper in that, but he does receive lots of hate from his friends. I support him. I think he will grow to be very big as he makes very very high quality streams. Thank you for watching in this long. I really wanted to talk to you guys about this. Uh, I want you to go down to the description and find the link to Kablemicast Nolan's channel. I want you to go check him out. If you do like Battle for Middle Earth 2, Six Siege, GTA gameplay that is actually very good FPS and very good quality, then go check them out. Alright guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!